So in the last video we learned how to send individual emails using Python and Amazon's simple email service. And if you didn't watch that video you should probably watch it before continuing with this one. So I'll create a card at the top of the video to make it easy to find it. But once you've watched the other one you'll understand about all of these different functions here. But today we're going to take that one step further and we're going to create a mailing list. And last time we sent a plain text email but this time we're going to learn how to send a HTML based email using a template. So here I have a file which is my mailing list and I have 10 emails in it and they're all the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter now and it's going to send 10 emails. So all of our emails have been sent so let's have a look at them. So here I am in my inbox and you can see the email was sent and if I scroll down you can see all of the other emails that it sent as well. So here is the whole email template. All it is is a really simple HTML page with a couple of style elements. One thing to note is that emails don't normally take account of the background color so to create this grey background color that I created what you have to do is create another div which is this div called BG. You put that behind everything else and you make it the full width and height of the screen and that's how you set your background colour. Emails are also a bit weird. You can't use absolute positioning so if I wanted to position an element in a specific corner of the screen I could use absolute positioning for that. So I could write position absolute. But emails ignore those. So most emails make use of tables. So here is our table in our email. This is the table that contains all of our content. And it's also how we center elements. So all this is is a simple table with, with the borders taken away. And we have two rows. One row for the logo and one row for the content. And another thing to remember is emails don't let you send pictures. To send an image you have to either encode it as base64 or upload it to a remote server and send it. So this email gets the HowCode logo from the HowCode content delivery network which is why you can see this logo in the email. So the content is really simple. We have these two curly brackets and the word content and that's our placeholder content for the template. So you can see this is the template itself on my local computer. So when we go into Python we replace the word content with the text we want to put in our email and that's what we do here. And the reason I created a class called AWS Sender is because we want to send lots and lots of emails. We don't want to just copy and paste all of these lines over and over again. So we had to put the code to create the email and send it in its own function called send and we don't want to have to reconnect and re-log into the Amazon server for every single email we want to send. So what I did was created a class and that lets us put these variables in the class which means we only need to log in when we create a new instance of the class. So if we scroll down here you can see we're going through the email list and we're just running this send function over and over and over. What we do first is we create our email list. We use Python's open function to load the list in and we read the lines in the list. So what this will do is this will take every line in the file and create a Python list. That allows us to iterate through that list and we can refer to each email as the word email. And then it's really simple from there. All we have to do is use our class to send the email. So the to address is this one here and the from address is no reply at howcode.org. So to send a HTML based email you have to include the HTML and the plain text in the email separately. So this line here lets us work with HTML and this line here lets us work with plain text. So the first thing we do is we set the MIME type of the email to multi-part because we have two parts. We have a text part and a HTML part in our email. And then what we do is we set the subject, the from address and the to address. Without setting these variables most mail servers would ignore our emails and treat them as spam. Next we have the text part of the email and to save us having to type the same text twice we use the text variable to populate our template. So we have the text part up here, then we load in our template and then what we do is we combine the two parts of our emails. So the HTML part and the plain text part. So we have part one is our plain text part and part two is the HTML in our email. And then what we do is we use our message and we attach part one and then we attach part two. And I actually got this part of the code off of a Stack Overflow answer so I'll include that in a link in the description of the video. But then what we do is we just run the send mail function and we convert our message to a string. And then finally we just output to the console to say that the email was sent successfully. And that's really all there is to it. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. And also don't forget to sign up to the new But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.